this could be the beginning of us having a podcast. Mm. <laughs> You're like, oh, bitch. Okay, if, I, if, I, if I do minimal work. <laughs> when I graduate, I would be done. I would be done once I graduate and I could do I could do the editing and shit. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Edna and I have the beautiful Norma. <laughs> so Norma and I have been friends since oh my god, 2012. Yeah. Since yeah. we were 18. Since we were 18, we were college roommates. And we're 30 now. So. Uh, okay, we didn't have to say all that. We didn't have to say all that. But we actually haven't filmed a mukbang in probably like two, three years. It's been no, like, maybe like a year, no? Okay, it's been like a year. It's been a while since, been we, a while. since we filmed a mukbang. So we figured we would have some Thai food and then just like cheese meal with you guys. And if it's good, if you guys like it, tell us. Because maybe once I graduate, we could do a podcast and it would be super cute. Yeah. Okay, bueno, pues, so les vamos a enseñar. We got some Thai food. I think you guys can see it from where we're at. No, this is pad to you, and this is the pad Thai. Mm -hmm. So good. Is this the papaya salad? Yeah. So, are you supposed to eat it así? Or why, why do they put like. I don't know, I've never seen it like that. Cabbage. Okay, pues aquí está the papaya salad. And we also have the mango, and it looks so, so good. And what are these called? So these are, I mean, they're shrimp egg rolls, but mm -hmm. I forgot how to pronounce it. Um, I forgot what they're called. Uh, I never forgot how to pronounce it. Uh, ba, no. Bonga? Bonga something. Ba, uh, I forgot. But I mean, it's basically just a shrimp and um, egg roll wrapping. It's really good though. Mm -hmm. And then the cucumber salad. Oh wait, we're it. And the Thai tea. Okay, bueno pues, so vamos a empezar. Déjate pasar un plato. We got, today we're going to talk some TikTok cheesemate and we are going to talk about two trips that we're taking which yes. we're really really excited. We actually already booked the flights so, yes. mm -mm -mm. so it's happening. So it's you want happening. me to put the lemon on all of it? Yeah, yeah. It's, there's no lemon for this one I think. Um, so I was telling Norma when she came in I'm like there was some TikTok drama that kind of triggered me because it kind of happened to me bitch. Oh wait. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> with uh, thank God okay, it happened. We'll talk about it, but it happened to me in high school, so I can't even imagine shit going down. No, they were down. actually married too, because people thought that uh, they were. It was just her fiance, but yeah, she clarified that they were actually. Married. Let's let's talk about it. So the TikTok T is is it is her name Amaya Amaya Colon Amaya Colon, and I followed her. I followed her for a while because she went viral for you. you followed a home record. I didn't know. I know her name. <laughs> Um, because Wait, she, she yeah. had gone viral for her makeup techniques. Uh -huh. I like her makeup. Wait, I, so like, I like how she does it. Can you tell the cheese man, like, what happened? What? So, basically, mm -hmm. um, this girl's Maya, she, she's from Jersey, and that's, I think that's how she met the other girl. The other girl is Sandra, I think? Yeah. Also, big TikTok influencer. She was on America's Next Top Model. Mm-hmm. Um, and she, um, they became friends, or, like, she befriended her, because she's, um, they're both from Jersey. They started dating her brother, mm -hmm. Sandra's brother. They were dating for five years, and she starts having an affair with Sandra's husband, and then Sandra's husband ends up leaving Sandra for Maya. And oh. that wasn't the first time she did that. She, she did has that. a history. She has it. She did that before to um, some other influencer. She mess uh, had an affair with her man too. But her friend helped her. Her friend befriended the, oh, the girlfriend. Oh, I didn't hear that. I didn't hear that. Okay, so this is the thing. So it's the Amaya makeup influencer, right? She, um, I guess she was smaller than than Sandra, and she kind of yeah. used Sandra to like get bigger, do yeah. the come up, have have her come up, and she, like Norma saying, she's done it in the past, and that's why you gotta be careful. You need to be careful who you have around you and anyone that's like jealous of you or like wants to be like you or whatever like you have to be super careful because these girls are out here like not they're not your friends like and then trying to take what's yours and you know what the shadiest part is I heard she she didn't just like break up their marriage she actually like stole him away she, apparently they're dating right they're now. still dating yeah but they hide they keep it hidden because of that because the other one mm -hmm. is hella well known Sandra she's hella well known <gasps> so they keep it like a secret kind of Mmm, the best thing is done. Mm -hmm. But I was watching something. I was watching something on Instagram, and it said, "When you have friends that only take bad pictures of you, you know those bitches are jealous of you." And I was like, <gasps> "Because I had an ex bestie, and she would only take bad pictures of me, and now we're not bestie <laughs> anymore." You, you know how I'm talking about, right? I don't think she would have ever done an Amaya Golun mm -hmm. type of thing. She wasn't no. like a shady bestie like that. 
but I did have a shady bestie back in the day. Yeah, I'm not gonna say anything. It's in the past. It is what it is. Pero siempre me recuerdo, you know, of like my mom defends her a lot, so it's super triggering for me. Okay, the other TikTok cheese man was. Have you guys heard of what's going on with Diddy? I mean, I think I'm the whole put world. This right here. Yeah, the whole, the whole world. world, has world. That's some. Um, but yeah. um, normally you were saying people knew, right? Like the whole industry. Of course, knew. they always cover it up. Even with like Harvey Weinstein and uh, and like Jeffrey Epstein, like everyone mm -hmm. knew, like they participated or they just knew and they turned the blind eye to it, mm -hmm. whether because they were afraid or because of the money, because no one believed them. You know, like wasn't uh, Oprah friends with one of them? Mm -hmm. Which one? Uh, Harvey Weinstein. Oh shit! Conspiracy theories there is that Diddy might have been responsible for hell shit. Yeah. And now Jay-Z and Beyonce are getting dragged into it, which... Allegedly. Allegedly. Oh, yeah, yeah allegedly. We're not, we're not <laughs> um, so, allegedly, like, there's a bunch of people involved. And I think Diddy's going to be, like, Takashi. And he's going to, like, sing. Like, he's going to oh. throw everyone under the bus before he his ass goes to prison. Mm. Well, did you hear about the, There's a Houston-based lawyer. Mm -hmm. mm. So, he, um, his law firm... He has, like, he's done a lot of big cases. Like, I think he did, like, the Astro World, you know, like, um, the people, people who died. In, yeah. Mm -hmm. Some other big cases, too. I forgot which ones, but he's he's a big, like, a, a pretty big law firm, I think, or, like, medium sized mm -hmm. law firm. They got, like, 3,000 calls from people claiming to be Diddy's victims. <laughs> and obviously, like, 3,000 is a big number, and some of them were, like, might be fake. So his office vetted them. Mm uh hmm. -huh. And they're still vetting them, I think, like, you know, obviously. Mm -hmm. There's a big amount, like, they don't, like, you know, for, like, their law office to, like, that's a lot of work for them. Mm -hmm. So they're vetting them, and but he already took on, he did a press conference, he already took on 120 <laughs> clients. One is as, was as young as nine years old. They, that, like, he went to the studio, they promised that to be famous Horrible. or whatever. And that he was, like, sexually assaulted by Diddy and other people in the studio. So, like, out of all the ones that they've edited so far, he is taking on 120 since, like, the 90s, you know, like, three decades worth. I think you only need 60 for it to be um, a loss, like, um, a class action. You know, I'm doing a class action, though. He, they not? decided to um, do it individually. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. That was a big thing that they were talking about, too, that they're not doing a class action, they're doing an individual. Did they say why? Like, what was the argument? I don't know. Oh, but that's why I brought it up, because he did a press conference talking about all that, right? Mm -hmm. I don't know why they decided to do individual, but and they said that they're horrible. also going to name um yeah they're also going to name um other celebrities, entities, corporations that are inv that were involved, mm -hmm. and he even said like the list is going to shock you or some shit like that. Cause the T is that everyone knew, right? Even like hotels and stuff, like the whole Cassie video. Apparently, that when like that happened, like in real time. Diddy paid um, the hotel staff like fifty thousand dollars or some shit like that to keep it covered. But do you allegedly. think they still kept a, kept a copy? Yeah, allegedly. Do you think they still kept a copy or like yeah. how the fuck did this shit get out? I mean, they probably kept it and they just leaked it now that when the loss will happen. And did you guys hear that Fifty Cent just sold the documentary to Netflix? And he's he always called it though. He's always he's been on his ass. He's him been on his ass since forever. Uh huh. Like one time, this is years ago. Diddy did the, I mean, 50 Cent did a Breakfast Club interview talking about how P. Diddy wanted to take him shopping and he was talking <laughs> hella shit. Mm -hmm. There was a few people who were, like, courageous enough to, like, like, they didn't care, right? They weren't scared mm -hmm. of him. But very few people. I think the majority of people just covered it up or benefited in some way. Mm -hmm. and or they participated. Or they participated. Like, was it Usher who brought Justin Bieber in, allegedly? Allegedly. To, to, like, sell the whole, like, for four days or something like yeah, that. Yeah, but his mom, too. Usher's mom, maybe? Allegedly, Usher's mom left him, um, gave Diddy guardianship over him when he was, like, 13 or some shit like that. That's horrible. How do you give a random stranger your children? Because they want the money. They want the fame and the money. They want, they want them to get to the top no matter what. It's like... Are you really going to sacrifice your child's soul mm -hmm. for... Mm -mm, absolutely not. But, um... And then, dude, and then they found, like, a thousand bottles. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. It's not funny. It's not funny. Mm -hmm. It's, like, creepy. But it's just, like, it's so shocking that it's, like... That's why, like, I, I like, kind of, like, laughed a little bit because it's hella creepy. I mean, and, a lot of people have been doing, like, memes and jokes and stuff. Yeah. But, um... I'm glad Cassie came forward and I'm mm -hmm. glad that, like, there's petty people, like... 
50 Cent and Eminem out there, and he's going down. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised Kano se fue to like an island, right? Where he couldn't get uh, ex extradited. I mean, because he thought he, he would beat him. Because like, even for the bill, mm -hmm. he put up like 50 million, he put up his mom's home, and like, he offered to surrender his passports, his kids' passports. Mm -hmm. I mean, they still denied it. Mm. Didn't say, they say that his children are, are involved as well? Two of them, supposedly, allegedly. Mm. Because after Jack, uh, Cassie dropped her lawsuit, like a, a couple months later, like but they settled, later. right? She got money. Mm -hmm. Okay. She just did a civil lawsuit. You might think because like the statute of limitations have passed. Mm -hmm. But after she did her lawsuit, some other producer uh, did a lawsuit too. And in his lawsuit, he named um, also one of Diddy's sons like involved. Did my straw falling? <laughs> oh no. We're using paper straws. Well, not this one, because this one's from the actual restaurant, but we're out here trying to save the environment since Taylor Swift won't. Mm. I just think that there's a lot of horrible things that happen out there, mm -hmm. but to me, what's like crazy is that so many people knew, like Hollywood knew. Yeah. And people, like, I'm, I'm not, I'm, <coughs> I'm sorry. I'm gonna be straight up, I didn't know. Like, I, I didn't like really keep up, but like a lot of people throughout the years, made comments right um and so people knew and they just stayed quiet and i think like cancel culture is gonna come for them and now i feel like a lot of people that did speak up no one would believe them too i'm gonna get some papaya salad because mm -hmm. um, hollywood has always been a dark place but i feel like whenever and like in the past whenever people would come out and say something they'd be like oh he's just crazy or like oh that's not true you know or their career yeah. Or their career kind black of end. Mm -hmm. Like, um, who's that comedian? He's, uh, there's a comedian and there's like, a, she's an old rapper, but hasn't come out with music in a long time. And they're, they've both this whole year, like, been putting people on blast. And in the beginning of 2024, people thought they were a little, like, off, like, out of it, but they were telling the truth. Ooh, maybe, maybe we should do another mukbang once the trial starts. Mm -hmm. And like kind of Keep review, the like, review the trial and like go over that. Ooh, that would actually be a good series. Mm -hmm. mm, like when, what's his real name? Johnny Depp. Is that his real name? I don't know. Oh yeah, that is his real name. I was gonna say Jack Sparrow. When Johnny Depp and his ex were like in trial. Oh yeah, that was oh, oh, mm. But everyone was keeping up with that trial. Mm -hmm. But. Diddy is going down, and I am glad. I hope that 50 Cent donates some of that money to like, like some type of organization, organization, nonprofit to you know to help. But um, but good for him. There was a bid, and Netflix won. And Diddy's going down, allegedly. Allegedly. But would I have to say allegedly for that? No, I don't. Um. Look at us being healthy with the cucumber salad. Alright, so that's the TikTok cheese meal we were gonna talk about. And now now we'll talk about our trips. So we actually booked two flights already. And I'm really excited because I feel like has it been three or four years since we traveled? 2019 no 2020, so four years. It was right before COVID hit. We had gone to New Orleans and literally cuando regresamos. Um we went to Mardi Gras. So we we went it was the end of February. Mm-hmm. And then we came back the beginning of March. It was a birthday trip. Because we were two March. weeks apart. Mm. Dude, the papaya salad is good. Mm -hmm. like we should have probably gone medium though. Yeah. Medium spicy. Mm -hmm. So we're actually taking a trip in December. Yes. Um, and that'll be to Vegas. So exciting. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, is like we're not gonna <laughs> we're not gonna go party. <laughs> we're gonna go eat. <laughs> we're going for the food. We're too old to go party. No, no. We are not too old. Yeah, we are. We uh, I, well, actually, I would get tired. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I, I don't see myself staying in the club for a long time. Uh -huh. Um, so actually, I probably wouldn't even go in to be honest. But, mm, well, if it's your birthday or something, I would go. I mean, I wouldn't really want to go to a club for my birthday. Mhm, mm that's true. I think I'm just not being sure. Like, we've been looking at a lot of like. The good buffets, like the win, is the that what win. it's called? The win. I have like caviar and, and crab legs. Unlimited lobster. Mm -hmm. mm. So on our TikToks, all we've been getting has been like buffet and food, like TikToks. 
Um, and I know we should be looking for a hotel, but that's not as fun, you know? Mm -mm. I keep getting videos of the wind. I also keep getting videos of um, the Bacchanal, I think, in Caesar's Palace. Mm. And then um, there was one, I, I remember I told you, um, it's not on the strip. The but it's, uh, I think I saw that one too, but um, like for buffets. Mm -hmm. Well, it's not really a buffet, but, um, and it's not on the strip, but it's an all-you-can-eat seafood boil place. And they have like um, all-you-can-eat well, just like seafood boil, so like with the shrimp, um, crab, everything. Mm -hmm. And then if for $18 more, aside from like the regular price, if you can get all you can eat lobster too. Um, for $18 more? Mm -hmm. You can't even get one lobster for $18 here. I mean, unless you buy it and cook it yourself. But. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like at a restaurant, like you're not yeah. going to find it, I think, cheaper than 20 bucks. Um, but I love lobster, mm -hmm. so we have to go there. I think it'll be a nice trip. It's just a three-day trip. And it'll be nice to just like chill and go get like bomb food. Mm -hmm. I think that, you know, that's like a nice mm -hmm. relaxing girls trip. These might have been my favorite thing from the whole thing. Let me put some of the sauce. I was a little traumatized about traveling because, you know, my last trip, something happened at the airport at the very end. Did you so, talk about it before? No, I haven't talked. Uh, no, I'm not going to. No, I'm it's a. Uh, <laughs> I feel like I learned the hard way not to air out my dirty laundry and um... <laughs> Wait, why? <laughs> you can take that part out. <laughs> I think I've, I've had people... I think, I think I've had people come back into my life and... I've and learned talked shit about them? And I've talked shit about them in, in, I, on YouTube and um... That was when I was much younger, right? Like I had my cheese my videos. You know, and like... Huh. like he was like... There was someone from my past that... Actually, we haven't talked about that. We can talk about that now. Um, he came back into my life. I dated him oof, years and years ago, but we were on and off for a long time. And when he came back into my life, Norma had told me, she's like, this is not going to work. We were just going to be friends, right? Excuse me. But actually, it's really hard to, um, it's actually really hard to stay friends with someone when there's so much history, history. right? And sooner or later, someone starts catching feelings. And I don't know why. It's always me. I know. I was just about to say it's always, always me. You. <laughs> So, I think it's because I'm very sensitive. I have a big heart. Mm -hmm. mm. So, this person came back into my life, and the first thing he told me was, You know how many people turned on me because of that video you did? Blah, blah, blah. Oh, really? Mm -hmm, that's what he said. Yeah. And I think. What video did he make? What did you talk about? It was a video. Uh, it was literally the video of why I stopped talking to him, which was he was mm -hmm. like sending yeah. us other girl emojis, right? Yeah. And, uh,. The truth is, and I'll clear it up here. <coughs> I think. I think. Stop. I think. Um, I just thought it was funny that, like, years later, it's a clarification video. <laughs> no, no, no. How many years ago was it? I think I deleted it because I couldn't find it. I tried going back in there to, to private it because I, I did feel bad. Like, w the way he was saying, like, it really hurt his feelings. So I tried going back in there to watch it, one, because he was saying that I made it look like he was a cheater, which I might have, I don't remember. Um, but that's how I felt, right? I don't think I saw that video. And to clarify, him and I were not officially together, but we were hanging out, and like, like we have already said, I catch feelings fast. Um, and I was under the impression that we were still gonna get, have a chance to make things work, and the truth is, he had told me, he's like, I don't want to be together, like, we could hang out, but, like, I don't, I don't want a relationship. So, he had told me that. So, just to clarify, he didn't actually cheat on me. It just felt like that in my heart. Uh, but he was a shady bitch. So, you know what? I, it, if something happens to you, it's not you. I don't care anymore. I'm not going to be out here praying for your, for your life to get better. Would you pray? <laughs> I would cry. So I would cry. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> like all the time, or? No, 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 no. Like this years ago? No, 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 no. Like, like recently, like when he reached out and we were like having a friendship. I would be like, ah, you see, to like you know, help him out. Like, I hope he has a good life. I hope he finds someone that he like, you know, clicks with and everything. So I would like pray for him. And then one time I told him, and this is how you know he's a, sh a shady bitch. One time I told him, like, yeah, I'll keep you in my prayers, blah blah blah. He's like, don't pray for me. That's what this hoe said. Some people don't like prayers. That's no. true. Norma is always right. And I should have listened 
when she said this is not gonna work out mm -hmm. and but she was cool she only said it once and that was it you know like yes to all. and I did start catching feelings and it was the same thing all over again even though it's been five years like we hadn't seen each other in five years um uh, it was the same shit dude like he just wanted something casual mm -hmm. and that was it and and I'm glad I'm I'm stronger now I'm more mature and you know things didn't go that way thank god because I think I think it would have really hurt my feelings yeah mm -hmm. and then at the end I was just like because he kept on messaging me and I was like you need to stop messaging me like if you're not gonna take me out you need to stop messaging me and this bitch was like I won't message you then I see I see how it was and I was like because oh. I think in the bottom of my heart I thought oh man I'll say this and not to talk shit because I literally just said I wasn't gonna be putting like my personal stuff on blast but for four years to four or five years he texted me every year like once or twice a year oh, usually no. it was once y le mandaba los screenshots so she knows that it's it's true and no le contestaba or if I did I would be like block my number or I would block him um, and so this last time around he was blocked and I went and checked my block list and mire su numero and I saw his message I ended up responding it was a mistake I shouldn't have but I think because he always kept looking for me, I thought, you know, I thought he was still in love. So mm -hmm. I was like, I think that was my mistake, right? Once you go too far in a relationship, you can't come back and just be friends. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, moral of the story, some of your friends are always right. And if they are, just fucking listen. When things end, they usually, like, people don't change that much. So usually you can't fix what went wrong. Do Especially I when you want different things out of life. Oh, for sure. So... You're my strong, like, thumb. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want another one? No, it's fine. I don't want to it like that. Um, <laughs> I'll fish it out. <laughs> she always made me cry. But, um... Yeah, and, and Norma's right. Like, I never fucking go out, and I think it's time. And I hope that on one of these trips, I'm gonna find my viejito millonario, or preferably the love of my life, you know? So... The other trip is Costa Rica. I don't think we talked about that. Mm -hmm. I just talked about Sorry, it. there was an intermission. So we're going to Costa Rica. So exciting. In April. Mm hmm yes. For spring break. Mm -mm -mm. Did we even check if it's rainy season? I, didn't, I don't remember. I Googled it at work. Okay. Mm -hmm. And it's fine, right? It's not it's summer. It's, it's literally verano. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, so Norma had a credit, right? Mm -hmm. She had a credit. And what type of friends would I be? If I left her to travel the world on her own. Because mm -hmm. what if something happened to her? I need to go with her. And um, because of school and working part-time, you know, like we had a way out a few things because uh, being on a budget is not it. But we made it work because originally yeah. we were going to go in December. How much were the tickets? Like 800 mm, Yeah. If we went in December? The dates, Because in early December, they were still pretty affordable. Around the same price that we got them for now. Mm -hmm. But, um... We waited. Yeah, but we waited. And then... Well, they were still like that for early December. But, like, later in December, since it's at like Christmas and stuff. Mm -hmm. They were, like, $800. Mm -hmm. And I, we had to wait because I started internship. So, I had to talk to my field instructor. And I had to check my school schedule and stuff. And so, it was a little... You know, I feel like it was on me, so I am sorry. But uh, but we ended up figuring out that Vegas had cheap trips, so that's how mm -hmm. we booked Vegas. And then for Costa Rica, we're gonna go seven days, or that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're we're gonna go seven days, which which will be really nice. I've actually but since they're cheap flights, there is a long layover. Mm -hmm. But I mean, we'll still be over there probably like five days, like mm -hmm. a good five days. So sure. that was the thing. When we saw that the December tickets were more like 800 bucks, girl, that's like the budget for the whole trip. Mm. So we looked in April, we were able to find them for what, like 350? Mm -hmm. well, I think yours was like 330, mine was like 400, because le agregamos una maleta, yeah. but we're gonna share. You can still travel even if you're on a budget, and it was just, you know, like we don't mind, we don't mind having a layover. There's one layover actually that we're gonna take advantage of on the way back. Yeah. We're gonna spend 12 hours in Mexico, so we're gonna. In Guadalajara. In Guadalajara. I think we'll put the luggage in the airport or we'll pay for or a hotel. hotel. Yeah. We'll see. We'll, we haven't decided yet. We haven't like figured anything out really, but we just, <laughs> we just booked the trip. We still have time. Mm -hmm. Do you want mango sticky rice? Yeah. Do you want a new plato? 
Um, See, no? Yeah. I forgot to offer you uh, fiber gummies. Oh, I'll take some after. Yeah, because um, I was watching on TikTok because TikTok is like my favorite search engine, mm -hmm. which I know like might sound weird because like, I'm in grad school and you know we focus on like studies and everything, but. To be honest, like there's a lot of good info on TikTok and you just need to learn how to filter that shit out. So, and if you have doubts, just like, you know, like research it. Research it and you'll be good. If any of you have gone to Costa Rica, please give us tips. Yes. Because we're even considering like doing a resort like the first two days, maybe the first three days. Um, oops, excuse me. Sorry, the ADHD is winning. Uh, so I was on TikTok and it said that if you have fiber with your meals, it's actually really good for you and yeah. you know it'll help you process the food y todo. So that's what I've been trying to do. And guess what? What? I was plateaued for like a month. I've been walking, I've been watching what I eat, I've been counting calories. Yes, I've been eating more than I should, but I had fully plateaued. I started taking the fiber gummies and in a week, perdí dos, tres libras. Mm. That's good. I don't know if it's in my head or I don't know if now I'm being more conscious. I've always taken fiber, but I've always had stomach issues. That might be TMI, but I've always had stomach issues, so I always have to take fiber. <laughs> yeah. I don't think it's TMI. I feel like the I feel like the world has changed, you know? Like now you like everyone's more aware of everything. So yeah. I don't think it's TMI. Uh, I remember the first time I would always either take fiber supplements I, mm -hmm. I would do metamucil but I would mix it with prune juice or I would just eat prunes too mm -hmm. do you get heartburn from it? yeah I take omeprazole mm -hmm. I remember that I, I would take like Tums and stuff and it wouldn't work mm -hmm. only omeprazole one time I made fun of my brother for having Tums and literally the next week I got fucking heartburn and I mm -hmm. thought it was a heart attack because that's how it feels Mm -hmm. Like it feels the living in Fuel Petro and um yeah, that's why you can't be making fun of people. Mm -hmm. I remember when we were little I would make fun of my sister for like she had a stash of hot Cheetos and she had like it was like a asiento but like inside it's storage and she had it full of snacks, full of hot Cheetos, and I would make fun of her for it and guess what? What? Then this bitch got skinny and I gained hella weight and now <laughs> and that's how it is. Don't make fun of anyone because karma will come and get you. Wait, would you be down to swim with dolphins, the men? Yeah. I think that would be really cute. Mm -hmm. The only thing is, we can't... We look into a lot of stuff. We, yeah, we, yeah, we haven't done any yeah. research for Costa Rica. The only thing is, we have to stay away from birds, because yeah. Norma doesn't like birds. I remember one time, I was thinking of getting a parrot. There was a lot of animals I wanted, right? Like, I wanted oh, a chinchilla. chinchilla. I remember the chinchilla. I really wanted a chinchilla, but now that I have the babies, they are almost like big chinchillas, to be honest. Yeah. But I thought about getting a parrot. I thought a parrot would be really cute. And Norma was straight up. She was like, if you get a fucking parrot, I'm <laughs> not going to come visit you. And I was like, all right, they were expensive. That was the main reason why mm -hmm. I didn't get one. But then I thought about it. I'm like, oh, Norma will never come visit me. Yeah, they are expensive. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I feel like ma maintaining them aren't, isn't that bad, though. Yeah. They're just in the, in the and they're super cute. Do you want more? I'll get a little bit more. Do you, or do you want mochi? And may dude. Me too. And I feel like they have more than that. Yeah, there's a lot. It's because they give you a lot. I think I do want to vlog, but I think for sure I also want to do a separate video breaking down like cost, you know? Mm -hmm. Like here's our itinerary, this is how much we spent. I think making travel accessible is really important. I like those videos too, like when I'm researching stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Like or like now that we're going to Costa Rica and stuff. I've seen some videos like that too. They just pop up on my free page. I don't like go out looking for them. But you know the algorithm brings you to stuff. Mm -hmm. And I see a lot of those videos and they're really helpful. Like, oh, this is how much this is and like yeah. this is how it was, if I liked it or didn't or like, you know? Yeah. But I think it'll be really fun. Mm -hmm. And we've traveled before. So I think that's another important thing, right? Especially if you're going to go international. I think we've only traveled once together, huh? Yeah, but I think the way you travel is like the yeah. best way someone could travel, which like Norma has an itinerary. But if you don't want to go or if you like want to sleep in, it's like, there's no pressure, there's no nothing. She's like, all right, bitch, meet me there. And it yeah. is what it is. And I think that's like... Don't, no one stop you from doing what you want to do. <laughs> yeah. So like when we went to New Orleans, oh, shit, there was one girl and love her so much, right? But sometimes she would take a while and Norma would just be like, oh yeah, just text us. You know, like it's totally fine. We'll meet you out there. And it was like no pressure, no drama, no nothing. And it was just really chill. And for me, I think... I think when I travel, I just I just want to make sure we at least on the same page. Yeah, like like at least we're 
communicating well and like and we're having fun like that's why we were on the trip so i feel like i'm also pretty flexible when we travel so i think it'll be really fun yeah. i don't you know i don't foresee any problems and then we'll sit together at the airport and if i get scared i can just hold your hand wait in the in the airplane in there oh. <laughs> because there was a trip i went to and the person didn't want to sit next to me and it was super sad and well i don't even know if we're gonna sit next to each other because what? we didn't um they probably will <laughs> but you know they charge we didn't choose the seats like we skipped that it's because it they was charge an extra twenty more. bucks each time. Yeah. Even for Vegas too, we didn't get it because it was like seventeen dollars. For Vegas, we're not sitting together. No, well, I don't know. I'm pretty sure we are because we bought the tickets together. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. the main thing is that we bought the tickets together. We're on the same flight. Me pasé otro. No me dio el estrés. I'm just playing. Wait, do you want one? Do you want the last? No, you can eat it. Okay. okay. Yeah, that's the one thing with me. They're it's like, just that, you know, they charge you more and we're like, eh, I mean, we don't need to. Yeah, I'm a little bit of a needy friend and I think that does translate into a lot of things. But uh, I, I think if we're traveling together, I like to be together. Yeah, mm -hmm. me too. Mm -hmm. For sure too. Like, and for me it was just that I was like, eh, I don't want to pay extra. Like, if, if I, I just want to know that for sure we're on the same flight, you know? Mm-hmm. For mm -hmm. sure that we're like leaving together, coming back together, everything, you know. But let us know if you guys want us to do another mukbang. Well, I guess it doesn't have to be a mukbang, but this is fun. Mm -hmm. You know, it's nice. And I think this is how people in, like start up their their podcast, you know. Like they hang out, good conversations flow going. And then, and then next thing you know, they just like start recording in front of a camera. So maybe I'll well, eventually well, convince you. What podcast would you want to do though? Like, is it a specific one or... You know, I never thought about it, but, like, if this whole trial thing with Diddy goes well and, like, we do a video <laughs> and cover it and, it and it goes well, maybe we could do that, you know? Like, cover... Cover trials or Cover whatever, trials, like. yeah. Like, I, think I, like I like hearing true crime podcasts. You know, I haven't really watched any of those. Is there some that, any that you recommend? Yeah, there's this girl named Jackie. Mm -hmm. I follow her on TikTok, but it's because... Um, Emily, my sister-in-law's sister, she's my friend too. Mm -hmm. She's the one that would put them on. So like, she, I I kind of know their like their names and stuff, but I don't really like follow them because I would just listen to them with her. Yeah. But there's this girl Jackie. There's this girl Bella. She's um, Australian, I think. She doesn't post as much. I really like Jackie. Mm -hmm. Um, and then there's this couple, but I forgot their names. Mm. But if you have the links, I can put them in the description. Yeah. So if you guys are interested in watching that too. I looked them up, but I kind of want to watch one because I feel like people are very like, like very loyal to those podcasts, you know? Yeah, they just enjoy listening. It's definitely become a big thing, and mm -hmm. I feel like I I feel like if you do it in that's why I like Jackie, you know, and like Bella, like if you do it in a good and respectful way, it's good. But I think the problem too that like it's definitely becoming more of a trend and like grows in popularity, like not mm -hmm. just the podcast but true crime in general. Mm -hmm. That sometimes like people take it too far and like they're not respectful to the victims or they romanticize serial killers or that you know. I hadn't thought about that. Yeah. Oh, see, you would be so good on a on a podcast, or it could be your podcast, and I'll just help you edit. It could be your podcast, and I'll just. It could be our it. podcast. Could, yeah, we could co-host. We could co-host. Mm -hmm. Um, that would be cool. And I'm not gonna lie, like I did have an, a bestie who's no longer a bestie. You know? Bitch, I thought you were gonna say who's no longer with us. <laughs> <laughs> You're horrible. No, 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 no. Oh, so <laughs> she she had told me years and years ago um she was oh, like oh like before podcasts were, were, were popular. Thing. yeah yeah before they blew up she was like oh maybe we should like do a podcast um uh, but she didn't want to show our faces and i feel like there's something to it when you see someone's face you know and their reactions and i don't know i, wanna... I feel like you can do both no like a lot of people also listen to podcasts like on their way to work or on like spotify on spotify yeah on yeah. spotify so it's like you don't really see their faces mm -hmm. and i'm actually gonna be redoing my room i hope in november i might have to wait until december but i hope in november i i, I think i got my budget down and and i want to paint and like move things around and i might be able to have a setup where it could be podcast a podcast studio in your room or like what? a little podcast studio i think the that podcast would be corner. so cute i think oh, it's it so a corner is that what you would call your podcast? I was saying it'd be the, it's the podcast corner. I just feel like all the good names are already. What would you take? What would you name it? 
I think it depends on what you want to do. But, but be, yeah. Oh, but if we did trials, it could be something with alleged, like allegedly. Allegedly. Oh, that's cute. I think that would. Allegedly. Oh, I think that would be cute. Um. Like, Honestly, I would probably say allegedly, like every other word to. <laughs> We, allegedly. Oh, we can take a shot every time we say allegedly. No, I'm good. <laughs> I'll take a shot of espresso. <laughs> we, we can't hang. Um, but I, yeah, if it was like something trial, really, I think it depends. Ooh, Whatever the focus too? is, is the name. To do, um, like food stuff? Oh, but I feel like that's not I'm really trying to lose weight. <laughs> I feel like that's more, um, like video, huh? I think that's more of things, but it could be like once a month. We have like a food series, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But um, I think that's something to consider, you know, having a podcast. I think it would be cute. Mm -hmm. We could have merch. Um, or even like travel, like a travel vlog, but it can be like a travel podcast. Like we talk about our travels. Oh, that would be cute. But we would be tra have to, we would have, we would to, have travel. to travel. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that's the issue. <laughs> something, something I do want to do. We don't well, I don't travel often. I think, no, need to do it. I think um, what we could do is, Find cheap flights, like for the next month, and let it take us wherever it takes us. You know. I want to know what I was going to tell you. Well, you're going to New York in June, right? I'm supposed to sign up. Yes, but I haven't signed up. Oh. But yeah, you have something right here, by the way, no, on you. your hand. But um, no, just because I went to New York once in high school, and I've always wanted to go back, mm -hmm. especially now that I'm older. But I just mm -hmm. haven't because you know life gets in the way. Mm -hmm. uh, but I think when I do go back, I kind of want to go in December for Christmas. Wait, it's because a TikTok video came up and mm -hmm. it was like Christmas in, in New York. And uh, I was like, oh. Just because when I did go, I went in high school. We went in March. Mm -hmm. March or April, I think. Yeah, and it was hella hot. No, it was cold. It was snow. Oh. One of the days it snowed. It was my first time seeing snow. But oh, it was like very little snow. Oh, that's very romantic. Or but like beautiful what we see. did do is go ice skating in, I think it's Rockefeller Center. Mm. And it's, it's open year round. Mm. And it was really nice. It was cute. But I hear that in, like I've seen TikToks that in Christmas time, it's mm. like even better, so you know? would you want to do like a whole week there so that you also do New Year's when they drop the, the ball? ball? I don't know. Just because I... I, I think New Year's would be fun too, but I'm really kind of whatever about New Year's. Because you could literally do one whole week that last week of December. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But, um, well, I don't know. Primero Dios, we'll be able to go the I don't know, that's, that's future me, it's problematic. <laughs> no, I think that would be fun, but, so see, there's options. I feel like if we ended up going that route, it would probably have to be after I graduate. Yeah. Um, you know, no, so yeah, I'm so talking like edit now. and stuff. But but you never know. Like that could be a thing. Let us know if you have like ideas for us. Um, but I think picking a cute like niche because I think that's yeah. the problem and yeah. that's the problem I face here on YouTube. I like to do a little bit of everything. Now I'm kind of settled on lifestyle, but that's still hard. But I think when you have a niche and and that's all you what do. What did you do before? I was doing I was doing a lot of like gossip and I hardly hardly see your video. Her sister her <laughs> sister watches my stuff more. Um I think in the past I would do a lot of like trendy videos like what's in my bag videos which I still uh -huh. do I still love those. Those I are OG videos. Yeah. Um but I had a lot of cheese man gossip videos. I remember someone once told me they're like you don't want to be known for like gossip for cheese yeah. and even though i love the cheese don't get me wrong but it's that more person pers in your personal life than like yeah the yeah and then i i stopped putting out my personal stuff when i went on a date and i you know was over at the guy's oh, house and his roommate actually watched the videos and reached out and i was like super embarrassed you know because like i had been in her house and i was like ah oh, i'm not gonna do this i'm not gonna do this so I even moving forward, I think I would tell you guys if I'm going on a date, but I think that would be the max. Or like how I went and stuff, but not really going to detail. Yeah, yeah, I won't throw anyone under the bus anymore for sure, cause that that cheese man, like I think, came back to bite me in the ass a little too much. But I think I was a little lost. Originally, I thought maybe I would do makeup, but to be honest, I don't really do makeup that well, and I don't even like watching makeup videos. So I think I like lifestyle. I think a lot of people find them soothing. 2016, like YouTube, like the OG, like makeup gurus or whatever. That's around YouTube. the time I started. That's what, yeah, and that that mm -hmm. was big. That's what was big. I still like them because that's how I learned how to do makeup was watching them. Wait, but do you remember what the first video you posted was? I did, and I loved it so much. It was, was it? a it was a what's in my bag video because oh. those have always because I'm so nosy. I like knowing what other people have in their bag, um, and I could watch. Oh, really? I could watch those endlessly. Yes, dude, I'm addicted. So um, I have um. So that was a uh, paper, plastic bag, like the reusable plastic bag. <laughs> <laughs> no! I don't have anything 
essentials. You don't have like a little pouch that holds your essentials? No. <gasps> no, we need to get you one. We need I to think get you what I, the only thing I have in like that I usually carry in my purse, and I like carrying like medium size, not like big, but also not super small because I like carrying multiple bags. Yeah. Because I never go anywhere. I never really leave the house, but when I do, it's like to go like grocery to get groceries. So I but need my bag. But she does go places and not really. The only but, issue um, has been I gave her a Telfar bag that is so so fucking cute. Last year yeah. she didn't wear it for a whole last year, and I told I'm her wearing like, it now. I'm like wear it to the grocery store. Like wear it any time. I don't go anywhere. I never leave the house. Lies, because we have gone places. We've gone to like, where ten row. We've got we've gone to. That eat. was like before you gave me the bag though. Oh, I gave it to you in February. That's true. Yeah, I gave it her for her. No, but day. seriously, like. Like, I never, like, never, never leave the house. Like, there's weekends where I'm in the house. Because I, the only time I really leave is to walk my dogs. Mm-hmm. And I don't really walk them on the weekends. So, if I don't walk them, I don't leave the house. Mm-hmm. Um, But I'm using it now. It is kind of small, though. I feel like all my stuff doesn't fit in there. Yeah. But, I mean, Telfar is super cute. Yeah. But they're always sold out of things. Yeah. And I, I don't know if they had the bigger size. I, I, okay, next time I'll definitely get you a bigger bag. I mean, so if it's, 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 a, it's a super cute bag. It's a super, super it's cute. cute. Bag. I do. I really like it. You know, like the video, subscribe and stuff, so that we can blow up, and then we'll go on a shopping spree. Yeah. And go get cute bags. <gasps> we need matching bags. Oh, that'd be cute. Mm-hmm. And actually, we could even do a podcast on that, right? Like, we're both really into bags and jewelry. Mm-hmm. Um, and oh, I was gonna wear some jewelry today. And I, I, forgot. I was gonna I got, say we're not wearing. Anything. I was gonna wear. I got a new necklace. It's mm-hmm. um like a snake one and snake mm-hmm. earrings that yeah. I was gonna bring, and I forgot. Ah, uh, so it's interesting. Oh, it's just that I was running late. Mm-hmm. But both of us really, really like like snake rings, yeah. just jewelry in general. <gasps> Wouldn't that be cute? We have our podcast. It's something with a snake, and then we come out with <laughs> snake jewelry. That would oh, be cute. cute. Mm. But what do you mean snake jewelry? Like we design it or what? Yeah, like we design it and we sell it. and Like like merch. Mm-hmm. It's like merch, but it's like maybe the logo of the podcast has a snake. Mm. Yeah. That would be I cute. feel like you're more creative than me, so you can... I think that. my main thing is I want to make money. And I feel mm-hmm. like sometimes people see it the wrong way. But for me, if I can have three or four um, like streams of income, streams of income I'm going to do it. And you having a, pa- a podcast could be it. If mm-hmm. we blow up. I also want to, <laughs> yes, if we blow up. I also want to have, like, uh, I want to write, like, kids' books. And since I have the babies, maybe, like, have a... A, a like, cat kids' book? Or what? A, like, cat kids' books. And, like, like Leo ran away, right? Like, a few months ago. And have, like, one of the books is, like, oh, like... My dog ran away, too. No. Oh, he's back. He's back. It just, it just reminded me. It, it was so sad. <laughs> Honestly, like when your fur babies like get lost, it's literally like devastating. I felt like in the shell. nighttime I would call his name, and that sounds like dramatic basis. Mm-hmm. In the nighttime I would let uh, my other dog. At the time, I just had Valentina. Mm-hmm. Um, I would let her out to go use the bathroom, and I'd be like, "Come back inside." Like, if she would take a while, instead of calling her name, I would call my other dog's name. Mm-hmm. Run away. <laughs> Simba, he's so cute. Um, and that you know, like. If, if we had a podcast, or even if we don't, even if we do the mukbangs, we can introduce our pets, our babies, they're not pets, they're our children. Mm-hmm. Um, so I think it, it could be cool. Ooh, now I'm interested, I don't know what type of podcast, like, I feel like for the podcast, mm-hmm. like, we for sure would need, like, like a, to- a theme, right? A theme. Like, I think a niche. A niche. We need a niche, because that's how you blow up, that's how you get brands, and then you have to be consistent. But I feel like, you know, there are some that, that blew up that don't really have a niche. They would just talk and, like, say funny shit. Mm-hmm. Like, they would just say shit or, that would, ended up going viral. Have you heard of Two Hot Takes? Something like that? Oh, is it when they would read the <laughs> Am I the Asshole ones? I yes, like those. I, I really like we those. We could read those, and I think that that could be fun, too. Like, maybe, like, ha- post once a week, and yeah. we rotate things, right? Like, we rotate subjects, but... I like I think that, too, be because fun. they also talk, like, give their opinion mm-hmm. on it. Like, you know who, we, if we did the podcast... I feel like we're going to end up doing it, because now we're talking about it too much. But, um... Yeah. If we could have a Sorry, Geraldo, I don't know yeah, if no, 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 yeah, yeah, that's what I was saying. If we could have Geraldo visit, like, for one of them, yeah. uh, cause he's also busy, so like, I feel like I, I don't know if he would be able to commit to like doing it, doing it. But if we could have him, he has good stories. Mm-hmm. I just, he's just super busy, and like, it's hard, right, when you're like, you have a busy work schedule and you yeah. and, like, you have family and your life, life and everything. But we live pretty close to each other, and mm-hmm. I feel like we could make it work. Just after I graduate, I can't mm-hmm. do it before I graduate, but I graduate in May, like that's coming soon. Do you have anything else? No. It was bomb food, even better company. So it was really fun. Thank you. Oh. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right, you guys. So we will end the video here. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you guys next Sunday. And hopefully, 
you guys will be seeing Norma sometime soon. Okay, last thing, shout out to this guy named Daniel, Daniel from Berkeley. He just won 100K for kicking, I think a football across um, at Berkeley. Did you hear about that? So, so this kid, I think he's like an engineering student. Um, Wait, he's he, a current student? He's a current student and undergrad and they had this huge game. I, I wanna say it was, it was in Ohio. I wanna say it was Miami versus Cal. And there was this oh, huge sure. thing, and they were giving out 100K to whoever could kick the ball a certain amount of yards, and this kid won. And he was wearing Vans, and he kicked the ball, and a lot of people were joking, like, oh, Wait, how the, much did he win? 100! Okay. Oh, um, and a lot of people were joking that the football coach was gonna be like there recruiting to see who <laughs> could kick the ball. But, um, you know, shout out to Daniel, you know, good for you. Having said that, we will end the video here. I hope you guys have a beautiful weekend, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye. Bye. Mwah.